annuities are hot right now. They are selling like crazy. And this always happens following a tumultuous time in the stock markets. People saw a decline that was stomach churning in both stocks and very rare. I mean, the last time it happened, uh, gosh, was it 130 years ago that stocks and bonds both fell in concert at nearly equal rates? It's very, very rare. And people saw right before their eyes this money they'd worked hard to save, they had put in investments that suddenly, um, in one year's time, they may have lost, average person, 17% of what they had invested. And that set the table perfectly for annuity salespeople to come in and say, oh, we can take care of this for you. We've got this perfect product that will protect you on the downside, but you're also getting the upside of the stock market. But are you really? No, no. Okay, the way these things work, and again, the salespeople, we were sad, we were depressed, we were distressed, depending on your emotional level with investing. When the market cratered, the insurance industry was ecstatic because they knew it was going to be their next wave of using fear to drive the sale of garbage indexed annuities. They don't use the word garbage in them. They may not even use the word annuity. That's a hot thing in the insurance industry since the word annuity is looked at as a cuss word. Because so many people have been burned by them, they will call them something else, anything else other than telling you it's an annuity. So what happens with these annuities that supposedly promise you stock market returns with zero risk, zero risk. You get upside, but you could never lose money. Okay. We would like that the world worked like that. It doesn't. So what they do is they cap the gain you get from the market. And in up years, the market gains can be really high in a year, but you only get part of that. You also don't get the dividends from stocks, which are a big part of what you earn over time. And then on the downside, they say, okay, so you're not going to lose anything, or the most you can lose is 5% or 10% or whatever, is you have to meet the contract language that could be 165 pages long. And you do anything or that the contract required, you miss something. You don't do everything exactly as required. You lose that downside protection. Plus, you don't have access to the money. If there's some reason you need the money, you get hit with massive, unbelievable surrender charges. Surrender charges are where you pay a massive penalty to get access to your money. Why do they charge such a massive penalty? Because these annuities have massive commissions for the salesperson. And that's why the salesperson is pushing these, because they make the money. So the insurer, having paid these massive commissions, doesn't want to then lose money having paid the commissions, because you say, this was dumb, I'm getting out. So they charge you those. I feel like we need to come up with another word for massive. <laughs> Gigantic. <laughs> Ginormous. Okay. Ginormica. Ugly. <laughs> Brutal. Sorry, I use massive so much. No, you know, no. people have a tendency to I do know. that. I know. I do when they're, too. When they're being expressive, they will throw out so much. And so... I'm guilty as charged. What like can you give an example like a percentage of what these commissions like if somebody puts you into a policy that's supposed to be like a hundred thousand dollars? It depends on the insurance company, but the commissions on insurance products many times exceed in the early years the premiums you paid in. I mean they oh can gosh. be quite large. Wow. That's why insurance agents have so much incentive to sell you um, whole life variable universal life, things like that. There are cases, rare cases, where whole life insurance makes sense. 
variable universal life, never, never, not ever. All it does is blow up on people, as we've heard all through the decades. 